says you can't have it all? Not Appalachian Wireless. We know what you want. Appalachian Wireless offers the hottest smartphones and unlimited data plans, all on the region's number one network. With the deadline to submit a budget breathing down its neck, the Pike County Fiscal Court took action today to appoint a new treasurer after longtime treasurer John DeBuilder resigned this week. This Longtime Pike County Treasurer John DeBuilder tendered her resignation Tuesday. It came less than three weeks from when the county is required to submit its budget for the next fiscal year. A motion to accept the resignation of John DeBuilder as county to raise a treasurer. At Wednesday's special meeting of the Pike Fiscal Court, Finance Commissioner Frankie Stacy, a 17-year Pike County employee, was appointed as the county's new treasurer. I'd uh, just like to thank the court and you, Judge, for the opportunity, and uh, I appreciate it. I, I wouldn't have took it on if I didn't think I could do it. Like I said uh, before, before I signed on to it, uh, we made sure that uh, the Department of Local Government is uh, going to sign off on a budget. Billiter's resignation left the county scrambling. Billiter, a more than 30-year county employee, had been under fire recently for unreconciled finances and other issues that she attributed to personal problems that ultimately affected her work. Deputy Judge Executive Herbie Deskins said Builder originally filed this week for two weeks medical leave with the notice of intent to retire at the end of the month. It was, uh, yes, it was a crisis day yesterday. Uh, we found that uh, Jandra had uh, gone on sick leave and it left us without a treasurer and there's nothing in the statutes that allows you to uh, have two treasurers or a deputy treasurer. There's nothing there. Builder's choice to go ahead and resign Tuesday cleared the way for Stacy to now see the county through reconciling some of the county's finances in order to pass a budget for the upcoming year. She voluntarily came in and, and resigned to, in order to help us to work out the problem that much, much of it had been caused by her, but not all of it, and uh, we're not going to throw anybody under the bus after 30 plus years of very good service. There's also hope that another major issue will be addressed. Earlier this spring, the county's bond rating under Builder's Watch was drastically lowered, thanks in part, Deskin said, to an unfinished audit of the county's 2017 finances. Deskin said he's confident the bond rating will be increased back to BB status by the end of the year under Stacy's watch. The future is going, looks bright for Pike County. I think in the time period, the time frames that we've got to do it, that we can get it done. Uh, like you said, we're going to recruit some outside help uh, to uh, reconcile last fiscal year uh, while we're doing this fiscal year and then hopefully it'll all come and then we can just go forward from there. Pam Vanover was promoted to the position of finance commissioner for Pike County. John DeBuilder's resignation was effective Tuesday. Stacy's tenure as treasurer began during Wednesday's meeting. At the Pike County Courthouse, Chris Anderson, EKB News.